Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost and I believe this is episode 11 and I am recording this on Boxing Day. Um, as you can see, I've got my little festive tree out. You know it's Minecraft Christmas because all the, um, the vanilla chests look like presents. And um, yeah, took a break yesterday. Well, yesterday was Saturday, so I wouldn't have posted anyway. But it just feels like it was a day in the middle of the week, kind of, somehow. I can't really explain it. I hope everybody had, you know, a very happy, peaceful and safe um, holiday. And that, you know, you got everything that you wanted. Um, I did a lot of just um stuff i made quite a few more singularities i realized i had the ingredients for some so i made it oh yeah i made um somewhere to make i to grow plants i've got this bit out here but i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet and i've got this bit out here but i don't know what i was growing trees here as you can see from the podzilla, I had some spruce growing here. Um, I've got plants growing in here. I was making singularities, basically. So I did that, got the wood singularities. Um, when I get more seeds, I'm going to be growing them out here. And I would like each patch of 9x9, 9 9x9, by 3x3, nine, nine by nine, three by three, sorry that have a um a different food a different seed so it is probably not going to be big enough but i liked what i did so far and i've got a border of wheat because i realized how i'd done this patch it was off by one i've got a border of wheat along here um what else what else did i do it was mostly grinding for those singularities I mean, I'm still trying to do the cobalt at the moment because you need, um, let me see, cobalt, you need 160 and I only have 94 and you get it from sieving, sieving, oh dear me, sieving crushed netherrack, but the drop rate is really low. I mean... I could have gotten the gold singularity about five times over in the amount of, um, what do you call these things? Netherrack that I have, I've crushed and sieved. I mean, it's a really low drop rate, so that's really annoying. Um, I made the auto hammer. I thought I didn't, I, I thought I couldn't because to make the auto hammer, you need to make a redstone, no, you need to make a pulverizer, I think. Auto hammer so yeah you need to make the pulverizer and i thought i can't do that and then i actually looked at it properly and thought actually i can do that so you know you do have the stuff to make it individually so it didn't take me too long i have to apologize it's early in the morning here because i'm trying to get some episodes recorded before the kids get up and then i have to go and do you know grown-up stuff don't really want to <laughs> so um so yeah a bit early so I still sound a bit rough, so apologies for that. But yeah, so the auto hammer had to make the pulverizer. I made a pulverizer and made the auto hammer. Although it's, it's quite slow, I don't, yeah, you can't really upgrade it to make it go faster. And it doesn't have a little pixie inside, so you can't feed it to, um, to go any faster. So there's that. Um... Yeah, made more singularities. Let's see which ones did I make. Right, because I looked at them and realised that I'd actually made pretty much all of them. Because I made the wood ones. Um, I did ura uraninite, emerald, emerald, emerald wasn't too bad because you get a good 
emerald drop rate from um, gravel. And you don't have to crush gravel or anything, so it didn't take me too long. Platinum, I haven't really looked at, so I have to do that. What else did I do? I did the stone ones. I didn't realize the other stone variants needed, well, not needed. I didn't realize the other stone variants had singularities. So basalt, blackstone. Uh, what was the other one? There was basalt, blackstone. Might have been just those two. Yeah, it looks like it was just those two. I made the endstone singularity as well. So really and truly, I have five more singularities to do. So it's just the platinum six. Platinum, cobalt, steel, bronze, invar, and electrum. So hopefully we will get, I could get those done in the next couple of days. And then we would have finished all the singularities, which is pretty cool, actually. Um... Oh so yeah, so today we want to get into mechanism. And I was thinking what are we going to do for power? I don't I know we don't be they don't need power, we have power. I was there, you know you know when you you you're kinda of falling asleep and you're trying to work out what to do and I'm thinking, what am I going to do for power? I'm going to have to put lava and you know, normal mechanism stuff or I could use I could do the um PCR? Is it PCR? The one that uses um, ethylene gas. Yeah. I don't know if it is PCR, obviously, with this the times that we live in. PCR has now become a new word in my vocabulary because, you know, anytime you want to do anything, we need a negative PCR test before you can. So yeah, that might not be the acronym that I'm looking for, but that's the one that stuck in my head. At least I've been getting netherite, netherite scrap from sieving the netherrack in in the netherite sieve ah uh, right and let's get on with today's episode so mechanism um last time we got the configurator and it's already charged which is excellent talking about that is there anything here that we can use to charge that's a charging slot pretty sure that's a charging slot oh so, yeah we don't have to make a charger that's fine um second thing right so they want to make the me metallurgic infuser i already have it here on the side so we can make that quite quickly because we have everything infuse those metals now where are we going to put you i think on this side we're starting to run out of space i have to start thinking about how i want to improve my base so there you go I put it there I can't oh I can't really hop or enter it or anything right now but I'll work it out actually once we get into mechanism we can start making um pipes not pipes basic universal cable and then we can start expanding I might go down into the basement and start putting machines into the basement I think but I'm not 100% yet not quite sure but anyway right so we've done that um they want you can go down to alloys to um circuit controls or to make steel and the most logical thing is to make steel because steel is the backbone of mechanism so 32 enriched iron 32 steel dust and 32 steel ingots so enriched iron is one coal to one iron ingot and that gives you enriched iron however if you make um the enriched carbon which i believe you just put the coal in the metallurgic infuser right no it's in the enrichment chamber can we make the enrichment chamber mm, steel casing no we need steel at the moment it's gonna have to be one to one and a Let's make a stack. Of course, it's going to take a while and it gets noisy. It has that very satisfying clunk sound. Oh no, it doesn't. Is it not this one that makes the clunking sound? It just has that humming. All right, so there are speed upgrades we can make. Um, did I speed? Although it does that. 
we need osmium dust. It does that at the expense of power and osmium dust. How well we can make osmium dust from smushing osmium osmium stuff chunks. Oh, I forgot you get two to one with that. Okay, um, so we can probably make a speed upgrade. Just one, because you know you don't want it to go too too fast and take all your take all your energy. And you just just click it in, and there you go. It's going a little bit faster. Isn't pulling down on our um our energy. And that also has a charging slot. But where is our configurator? I did drop things. Places. There you go. I'm not sure why it has to be charged. Why they? Why you can charge it? Because you, it doesn't have to be charged. I don't know. Um. Oh, I knew I had platinum. I knew I had platinum somewhere. Okay. Uh, platinum. While well, we're just waiting for that to do what it's doing. I probably shouldn't hit it with the rent with the the configurator. That's what we want. We just want to push it. Uh platinum. How much do we need for that singularity? 160. Okay. Um did I have 160 so that's two and a half stack. No. That's osmium. Two and a half stacks we want. So we still have quite a way to go. And what do you get platinum from? What do you need to sieve? Um, platinum ore. You get that from... Oh, gravel. 15% chance. That's interesting. Hold on. Do you only get it from... Um, do you only get it from netherite, though? Heavy sieve netherite. Sieve netherite. You only get it from netherite. Okay, that means I will have to make, um, I would have to make compressed because this is a heavy. Oh, I made this as well. This is a heavy sieve. It only um, sieves compressed items. I can't put in a single piece of of um of crushed endstone in there. It would have to be compressed crushed endstone in order to sieve it. All right, let's see how this is going. Oh, just in time. Oh wrong thing no that was correct that was correct all right 32 steel dust so the steel dust oh yes we do have a steel needs 160s that's all or that's also one two and a half stacks steel dust yeah that's not doing what I want it to do steel steel dust not a thing oh steel grit all right, um, steel grit, melting foundry. Do you not get that from? I'm pretty sure. Uh, arc furnace, energized smelter. You have to run it through the um. You run it through this twice, and so I'm not explaining myself very well. Right. It's two to one, and it's two carbon. To one enriched iron gives you steel i believe you see recipes okay uh rich gold bubble now we should look at what we're getting all right it's not any of those not that enriched iron cold charcoal oh it's still one to one and that will give you steel grit all right so um I kind of want to let this finish. I kind of want to let it finish. Right, um, what are we doing? Sleep. Not that we really need to. Although I don't think I've lit up out here. I haven't really lit up out here, but I'm not getting any mobs. Warning. Which is quite interesting. I thought I would have gotten something, but no. Not really. And... 32 basic control redstone 2 to 1 if we want 32 we want a stack of redstone and 32 osmium 
Okay, um, we want 32 enriched iron, so that's 2 to 1. Awesome. So put that in, put that in. So you should do your thing. I wonder if we can put in another ste Steve upgrade, <laughs> speed upgrade without it sacrificing. Where is the osmium dust that I had? I put it in here. Yeah, I wonder if I can put in another speed upgrade without sacrificing okay seems to be seems to be okay seems to be okay right we'll leave that going i will what's the next thing we can't do that yet 32 infused alloy i don't think i have i've only got seven nine oh yeah that's not really we could sieve some gravel Get some more platinum. All right, compressed gravel and the heavy sieve. I had to make a um, what do you call that thing? Right there, trash can. Because I was just getting lots of rubbish, and I didn't need the rubbish. So, for example, now you're getting the cinnabar and the fluorite. Is fluorite? Yeah, fluorite and the yellow stuff and gold and I've already either got singularities or I didn't need it so I had to make the trash can but as you can see this is what I had to do and we're doing compressed I've only got 13 platinum platinum is the other thing that has a really low drop rate I think I've mentioned that already because I was sieving quite a lot of um compressed gravel to get the uraninite so I can get the singularity and platinum is a very very low drop rate I should probably keep those diamonds though it's kind of freaking me out that there's diamonds just sitting there but um but yeah it is yeah those drop rates they are not good but this is definitely the kind of thing um you do off screen but i was reading some of my old comments i think there was some that i had missed from old videos and stuff and somebody had mentioned why do you always cut away and then just come back to do the boring crafting stuff but then a lot of the time you're cutting away from doing stuff like this and ah yeah i knew there was a reason why i was looking down and to be honest this is not scintillating minecraft and also, do I have a stack of diamonds already? I do. Wow. It's not scintillating Minecraft for one. And for two, there's only so many episodes you can sit there watching me doing boring stuff. Like, you know, mining and sieving and all the other things that you're supposed to be doing. So while it can be annoying, because that was one of the things that had frustrated me as a new Minecrafter, that you would get, you know, people going, you know, oh, I'm just going to go and do this and I'll be right back. And then they cut away and come back and you're like, but how did they do that? But, you know, it's a, it's a very fine, it's, a, it's, it's finding the balance between entertaining being entertaining i've got a stack of emeralds as well yes i do oh yeah but it's finding that line between being entertaining and having content that people would watch right and there's only so many times you can watch somebody sit there doing something very repetitive right so yes, I will do this sometimes, but the vast majority of the time I will, you know, I will cut away and come back because, you know, you don't want to watch me sifting a whole stack of, um, what's this? Compressed gravel. Although it does show you just how much junk does come out of it. But, you know, you, you understand what I mean. There is quite, when, when you are creating for Minecraft, I don't know about any other um, any other games 
because to be honest i only ever play i play minecraft i play the sims the sims is a bit more linear so you know you can do half an hour of gameplay and pretty much post as is because there's you know sims are always doing strange stuff and you know you can you can spin it in an entertaining way you don't it, there's very you can do very minimal ed editing with minecraft but with um with not with minecraft sorry with the sims but with minecraft it's a whole different ball game um let me see don't want that not that um yeah now I've lost my train of thought. There's a lapis um, thing as well, which I didn't know. And I made that. Oh, are we? Oh, we don't have we don't have emeralds in there. But um, but yeah, but that's basically the reason why I don't do a lot of this on camera because it's boring. It is boring, and like I said, you don't really need to see it. You don't need to see me. Diving. That all goes downstairs. Well, the platinum we want, that goes downstairs. The flint goes in here. Yeah, and me organizing my inventory. You don't want to see that either. That's stuff you do all the time, right? But I understand that as a as a new Minecrafter, it's hard to find people who do what who are who are showing you exactly what they do. It took me a long time to find people who do things and are quite happy to go on camera and do these things. Oh, I was smelting gold and cobalt. Obviously. I don't remember doing that, but I must have done. Right, I'm going to clear these up. <laughs> After saying, you know, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to clear these up. And I will come back to you because evidently I can't clear up and talk at the same time. Obviously it's beyond my comprehension. So let me do that and I will be back. Okay, all cleared and I'm here thinking I'm going mad. I can hear music, but I think there's a mob out there with a musical backpack on. Because I'm... Yeah. Yeah, just heard it again. Yeah, I couldn't work out where it was, and I'm like, oh, there's music playing, okay. And then I realised, mob musical backpack. Oh, is that a witch? There's a witch wearing it, yeah. I don't need it that bad. Okay, um, what were we doing? Oh, I picked up the enriched iron. Enriched iron? It's the steel. Yes, I picked up the steel ingots. So we've done that, um, and we want steel casing. We want four steel casing. Steel casing. There we go. One. Four. And we get... How many more did we get? We got five. Okay, cool. What's the next thing? Yay, cables! So we need universal cable, mechanical pipe, pressurized cable, and logistical transporter. Nice. So, basic, universal cable, which we already had. Um, mechanical pipe. Uh, pressurized tube. So hold it before you put it in. Logistical transporter, which we don't have yet because we need the basic control unit. Which is two redstone to one osmium. That was the other thing we were doing. Okay. Redstone, osmium. Ah. Two redstone. One osmium. You do your thing. Um, right, so there's that. Anything else we can do while we're waiting? Um, enriching your life. That's the... In oh, you gotta do... Okay, we gotta do those. So we definitely need to do the control units and the infused alloys. And the infused alloys is what we're making now. All right. How many? How? Uh, how much? 
and I found the smoosher has a lot more durability than the hammer the um, immersive engineering hammer so um, I went back to making smooshes rather than immersive engineering stuff all right let's put you there did I make more yeah I did um, cobalt let's put you in here anything else I can put in no emeralds need to go downstairs again that's definitely something I'll do off camera because you know like I said it's not interesting it's almost finished almost and I have to put these emeralds downstairs and put these downstairs by the time I come back up and we should be well you know what um nope nothing in there there you go Right, that's done. Oh, we get some back. Awesome. Basic factories, not yet. So we want the infused alloy. 32. Redstone and iron. That's one to one. How many did they did we need? I don't know. But we'll do a stack because you always need enriched alloy. So alright, we need to get more redstone from downstairs. I'm going to have to wait to have to find a way to integrate these two or put everything back everything together iron iron chain iron iron we need a stack of that and again it's one get that going what was oh that's the redstone it's not the power right so we wanted to make pipes i think one of them was waiting on that basic we did the cable we did mechanical we did pressurized yes it was logis logistical transporter oh because we haven't I haven't made these yet. That's what enriching chamber, energized smelter, precision sawmill, and crusher. All right, enrichment, enrichment chamber, the basic smelter, no, energized smelter, um, precision sawmill, precision disperser, shift N, shift N. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> that really didn't work. Right, what was the other thing before I got sidetracked? I'll look at that later. Precision sawmill. Sawmill. Uh, precision sawmill, which is that. And Russia. Our two buckets of lava. Do we have buckets? We have we has buckets. I did switch out the um uh uranium for uraninite because that goes a little bit faster. Um because I was making endstone. So it was basically fill this up with lava. I had a, I was going to put a hopper with redstone. I did put hoppers with red with um with glowstone on top, but then I don't know why I didn't do it. I thought it wouldn't work, but now I'm thinking about it, it probably would have worked. But anyway, doesn't matter. I put in the lava individually, and I had I have a hopper under I had hoppers underneath, feeding into this chest, and then that would just take away all the endstone. That made the, the process marginally faster. Oh, okay, I didn't realise we didn't have... But now that we have access to... Um... Tubes... Then, you know, now we can do stuff. Pipes. Cables. Alright, so... Cable guy... Basic universal cable. I had that in my hand. Or is it because I didn't make it? It could be that. Oh no! It wasn't. I don't know. That was a bit weird. But that worked. So let's just get our infused alloys. And we get some back as well. Okay, right. So, looking at my clock, it's about time to finish the episode. But I am going to go ahead. Compress purity. What's that? Osmium. Oh, purification chamber, osmium compression. But I am going to um, fix up, let me pick these up before they despawn because those are too valuable to let them despawn. But yeah, I'm going to look at how I want to um, revamp our base because it's now getting a little bit cramped and I want to, I want, I'll, I'll probably expand downstairs, have it going straight down to the bottom and have, um, have our machines downstairs. So up here isn't so cluttered. I think I'll do that. So that's what I'll spend the rest of today doing and try and get the kids to be independent. And you can go get your own dinner. Yeah, right. <laughs> like That's really not going to backfire on me. <laughs> I can't. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not going to work. 
I'm gonna have to do it. But you know, you know, I can always hope. Maybe you know when they turn twenty or they move out, then they could look after themselves. But at the moment, no, it's not gonna happen. But um, one can only hope. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.